Right. So, you know, most people... Most people that don't have a clue, and you may know a little bit, like for instance, Miss Cray, she didn't, I just explained two to her, she asked something about one of the things, and I said, oh, that guy Eric, I said, he's in two coincidences, and I told her both of them, and both of them are, are mind fucks, you know? Are you talking about the guy that was in the short with the, the hospital? Yep, uh, yep, going on? yep, you know the story on that? I painted, there's another video, my, my friend John, so I say in this, you see the short in that one too, where I tell him I paint both you guys' house, I'm friends with two guys in the same neighborhood, right, I wind up painting both of their parents' houses years later, one right after the other, just out of the blue, you know, no setup or nothing, that alone is, you know, those, those odds are... I don't know if you can quite grasp it, but, you know, they're mind fucks. You know what I'm saying? I painted both these guys' houses that I happen to be friends with. They live in the same neighborhood, one right after the other. Not by a hookup, just by mere, you know, fate. That's crazy as hell. Both those guys that I do the videos in, I wind up coincidentally into bumping into both of them in two separate different stories. So you still with me? Yeah, yeah. So the same guy, Eric, right? I haven't seen him, talked to him in 25 years, right? Talk, he, calls me th he calls me three years ago. I answer. We talk for a minute. We hang up. He calls back like a few weeks later, and I know he's going to want something, so I don't even answer at all that time, right? So I've only spoken to this guy once in 30 years, 25 plus years, right? He calls one day, this couple months ago, the video I get all ecstatic. He calls one day, I don't answer. The next day, um, I just, on a whim, I get a feeling to call him. I call him, and I'm passing him at the hospital he's at. A place, a place that I hadn't been in 14 years, okay? So you can see, we're not talking about somewhere I'm around all the time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So imagine somewhere. Hey, can I ask you something, like not personal, personal business, but like? Sure. Um, I, I, I noticed your your profession is you're a carpenter, and you know you're doing all this stuff. Yeah. Um, is there any like like is there any like a like a company or company that like you really want to work for? Yeah, but I it's. It's cush and gravy for me for the most part. It's the best job, best job I've ever had. I drive, I go drive the job. The job could be an hour or two. It could be five, eight hours. No matter what it is, I, I get the same amount of money. And my average day, I'm, I'm waking up at eight o'clock in the morning. I'm being on the job at ten, ten thirty, and I'm usually heading home at two thirty. You're home by dinner, huh? So. They don't get that. God's able to let you provide for yourself in a nice, comfortable way. And it's like, because of those drives, you're able to squeeze in the video filming for your videos on your ever expensive channel. And it's so freaking impressive, man. Yeah, you're is it? Utilizing the time given and what little bit you got. Appreciate like, it. You know, it goes to show you don't need a big ass computer set up or graphics or anything like Right. You're making it happen with what you got. And it's right. more than enough, it feels like. Yeah. And it's a shame. Well, and it's well, a shame well. most people don't have a clue, you know. But they'll they'll get wind. People will get wind, you know. I guess it's a process. It's a learning and growing process. What up, Bird Man? What's up, Mike? How you doing? Good. And yourself? I'm doing good, man. Just got home from work a little while ago. Uh, I got to work one Sunday a month, and it was today. Oh wow, that was today. Yeah, I was pissed. Uh, what'd you get called in, or was it just happened to be that? No, it's not my schedule. I got one a month. It's a, it's a short day. It's only a, like a half a day. It's 12 to 5, but I did make a bunch of commissions today, so I made the best of it, so that was really good. All right, all right. I seen, uh, did, did, did one of your homies up there, Bird, actually broker his own deal or something with a car? Or he... All right, I actually trained them. Uh, so when they come, when the new, the new hires get there to be sales, salespeople, um, like I helped train them, you know, because I got over 10 years experience close to 15 years in the car business so i kind of trained the new guys train them up so i took a i took a liking to this young kid and he looks kind of like eminem and uh it's pretty funny so the whole dealership 
call him we all call him D Rabbit. That's why I played the lose yourself thing. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. But I wanted to give a shout out to Mike since he's on here. Hey Mike. Peace. Yeah, man. I really enjoyed your live last night, Mike. You were laying down some what I call high level drug stories. But uh you're laying down some fire last night for Appreciate real. It. like uh, high like top tier shit. <laughs> that was a good one? <laughs> and I managed to go back and watch. I was working on it. Yeah, I don't I don't uh I don't always put that out there, you know. Some of some of the shit, you know, I can't let the old lady f hear and find out this, that, and the I, third. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, but I cut loose last night and told them some shit that you know I've never. Well, don't drop the stream, Mike, because I want to be able to watch it. You know. I don't know what I did with it. Today. It's not private or anything, is it? No, but I don't. I don't. I don't know where it is. It was on like on. It was on the regular thing, you know, shows videos, and then disappeared after a couple hours. So I don't know where it yeah. went. Weird. Yeah. You gotta look in the live tier. I think. Nah, I tried looking in the live tier, and there was nothing there. I tried. Uh, uh, yeah, it vanished. But he was laying down some high-level drug stories, bro. Some real deals. So yeah, much like this call some gritty shit. He's laying down some gritty ass drug stories from from the hoods and different hotels and shit. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zewo had wrote me. He commented and said, "Hey, you're gonna be at Mike's live." And I was like, "For one, I'm yep. at work, and two, I think Mike had me blocked by accident still." So um, I totally missed it. I had to work. I tried to unblock it. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna try again, but there's uh, there's like seven people's name I see on there, but I it, I don't see nowhere it says Cray. Maybe there's more than just on the screen. Maybe there's more people than that. I didn't even know there was that. Scroll or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get back to it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm just happy you came right here right now. Like this is super cool. Talk about a coincidence, huh? Yeah. I said I gotta tell Birdman. He ain't gonna believe this, you know. <laughs> uh, normally I'm going this long unless it's about something that's you know. We Does that take four hours? Yeah, it's good to be here, fellas. I I feel bad for old Mark World. Um, I don't know. So, uh, what uh, what are your plans to um, keep the channel going, Mike? You got some new stories on the way, or uh, are we gonna turn the volume up a little bit? I I don't or really get into some good stories you have, or pro probably. I don't I don't know. Truthfully, you know, let's see how it goes. I mean, the best I could say, you know, um, I've been winging it, you know, from day one, from day to day. I don't know what I'm going to talk about until 10 minutes until I start talking about it, truthfully, you know? Man, I don't know how you think or generate these ideas for these stories, but I really enjoyed your ghost face uh, story. That was really, really good. I sat back and uh, reviewed that. And uh huh. That. Appreciate it. Yeah, I would say I worked hard at it, but not really. It's just, uh, you know, everybody... Just was my circumstance, I guess. I don't know, you know? I mean, none of it's made up or, you know, spruced up or none. I give it to you just how it how, how it's happened, how it happens. Yeah, while I have you here, that's what I like about it is that Mike, he, he's a lot like me. He tells it like it is, right? Whether it's good, bad... I talk about things that I was an asshole that I looked stupid in, that I did the wrong thing a million times, and I talk about all that shit. It's actually pretty therapeutic for me to fucking get it off my chest, try to spin up, uh, you know, a negative and turn it into a positive by putting the worst stuff out there. You know, my worst things I've done in my life are on the internet, and I'm all for it. Right. That's how I feel, too. It makes me feel better, you know? And I have I started out not even really... I. You know, I was lying to myself way back one a year ago when I said I'm going to make myself famous or whatever. I really didn't know if I had anything or pot to piss in, you know. I yeah, just, crazy? I just know that, it, you know, if I tell myself this, maybe I can, you know, manifest it, make it true or happen, you know. I didn't know. I do now, and I do see a 
a, a possible future now because so many of these coincidences have come and happened that that's a book and a story on its own, you know, a movie. And I'm just wait, you know, excited to get it out there to people, you know, to amaze people. If I could ask you a question, if I could, if you sure. made a movie out of your from your life, who would be the actor that would play Mike Bruce the cop? Who, who would you want the actor to be? Shit, I don't know. I that I I'll have to answer you back on that. I don't know. Harrelson, huh? Uh, somebody. My answer, my answer would have been much different eight years ago, right? This day and time. Yeah. I got a whole different outlook on celebrities and you see what I'm saying? I don't I Chuck Norris. Is Chuck Norris still kicking if Chuck Norris is out there. That's Chuck Norris is badass. <laughs> yeah. I think Chuck Norris. <laughs> I don't know. Hey Mike, well I have you here and you can actually hear me. Can I give you like maybe a, a quick tip and you don't have to follow this at all? Sure. But have you ever thought about cause you know how like the ADD I can see in some of your videos, you'll kind of be telling a really good story. You'll be getting into the, the grit of it. And because you're getting the whole story out very thorough, it causes you to kind of skip around a little. But then you eventually always come back to the source of what we're talking about, right? Right. Have you ever thought about, like, like lining up a, a topic for a certain video and then just, like, writing down, like, footnotes? I have. Stay on track with? I have, and I've tried that, but, um, okay. Okay. like, the... The, like best thing I can think is like it 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 wouldn't be authentic. You see what I'm saying? By shooting by shooting from the hip, I'm able to get my emotions and shit into it. I couldn't do that if it was you know played out or you know what I'm saying. I you know it was you see you see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, it's almost like you're doing your reference homework. You know, it, it's not like you're cheating or not being authentic. It just helps you stay on track. You can put like one word, key words down the right. Line. I've been doing it little by little, but I, but there again, you know, I do it and I get sidetracked again, and before I know it, I'm right back in front of this thing with with no cliff notes and just sh shooting from the hip. Better off just going right into it, huh? Yep. Okay. It's hard to tell a drug story live too, because when we're telling drug stories live now, lately we've been going live for you know, if you get stuck or if you fucking stumble, you can't just all start over and try to record again. Like if you're live, you've got really just. Uh, tough to focus in because you can get lost in your own thoughts and then fuck the story up or make it you know not very good to listen to so i got a question for both of you guys so once you found out that you found i wasn't full of shit and you looked into the illuminati thing what did you guys think i've been reading i've been looking into that type of shit for a few years now my wife and i have looked into that shit for, uh, for a long time now so I, I was already in tune with a lot of that um for me i was speechless uh, <laughs> Time to put my foot in my mouth. Once and for all. Uh, yeah. Wild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cray. Thank you, Birdman. I do. Yeah, I, pre I appreciate, I appreciate you guys. To get some eyes on your channel. You I've been really promoting your stuff. Saying I'm just adding, adding your channel a lot and trying to uh, get as much eyes on you as possible try to grow your channels at the thousand by uh by starting out on rocky past the boats of us just like you cray you made me bring my a my a game and i appreciate it yeah. you know who would have thought man fighting fire with fire you came out the victor you know who would have thought <laughs> I still can't believe today i backed my ass on youtube because i'm no competition anywhere especially someone like We we all got our stories, just age, you know. Everybody's, I believe, everybody's blessed with something. Everybody's got their own special knack, talent, whatever. Um, you just have to find it, you know. Unfortunately, I was. I'm just really happy to be alive and kicking. You know the shit that I've been through. I'm sure you can attest to that from your own stories, Mike. I'm just happy to be here. Lots of oh yeah. Friends are dead. Lots of your friends are dead too, Mike. And I'm sure lots of Cree's friends are dead. So. Oh, uh, this drug story shit, we joke, we joke and laugh about it, but in the end, it's a very life and death serious topic, you know? Yep. Dun 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 Say cheese, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. So I'm going to look into it and figure it out, Cray. If, if, if I can't get you unblocked, do you have another way to get on my YouTube or, or lives?
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just felt it would be really nice and authentic if I could come up in your chat. Saturday nights. I'll go into your Google settings, I think. Google settings, huh? Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, I'll look into it this week. Yeah, it is. I think you go into the settings, there'll be a block list. I, I stumbled on it once and I tried finding it another time. Right. I'm a, I've been recording it. I'm going to end the recording on that.